Welcome to MuseScore in Minutes, a series of short videos that will quickly get you up and running with MuseScore 2.0. I'm Dr. George Hess. In each of these videos, we'll look at how to use some of the basic functions of the exciting new version of this program. MuseScore is a free and open source music notation program that's a great alternative to Finale and Sibelius. You can download it for free at the website shown on the screen. Lesson 4, MIDI Keyboard Input. In the last lesson, we covered basic note input using only the mouse and computer keyboard. This is fine, particularly when you're away from your workstation, but there are better ways to enter notes. The first one that we'll look at is using a MIDI keyboard. This time we'll start by creating a new score and using the Jazz Lead Sheet template. We'll scroll down here and select the template, select our key, our pickup measure. Now let's go ahead and shorten this a little bit to 13 measures and click finish. Before we get started, we'll need to open up the preferences and make sure your MIDI keyboard is selected as the input device. Preferences are found under the edit menu if you're on Windows. Select the I.O. tab and then next to MIDI input, make sure your MIDI keyboard is selected. If not, select it from the drop down menu and then click OK and you'll need to then restart MuseScore. It's OK, we'll wait. This note input method is basically the same as with the virtual keyboard. You'll choose a note value, play the note on the MIDI keyboard. Remember the shortcuts, four for an eighth note, five for a quarter, six for half, and seven for whole a period for a dotted note, and shift plus for a tie. Remember to add the dot after entering the note value and to select the trailing note value before entering the tie. So now let's enter the first phrase. First thing we need to do is split that rest, so we'll type 4 to split it and then the arrow key to select it. Now we'll type N for the note input and mode and we're ready to play. Type my half note before I type the tie. And add the dot before I enter the note. Now that didn't take long. For most people, this method will be the fastest and feel the most comfortable. In the next lesson, we'll look at a couple of ways to quickly finish our melody. This has been MuseScore in Minutes, a production of George Hess Music. For future videos, please subscribe to this channel. And for information about music technology training and clinics, please visit our website. Thanks for watching.